bright and pleasant good morning to you. God is so good. Question, what is the smell of Christmas? Yeah, that's the question. What is the smell of Christmas? Uh, listen, uh, Luke chapter 2 and verse 4 says, And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, uh, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, uh, because he was of the house and lineage of David, uh, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, uh, being great with child. And it was that while they were there, uh, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. What is the smell of Christmas? Uh, well, for some individuals, uh, the smell of Christmas is the smell of ginger beer. Uh, it is the smell of alcohol for some. It is the smell of baked chicken. It is a smell of roasted ham for some. It is the smell of turkey. For me as a boy, uh, the smell of Christmas was the smell of gunpowder. You know, in those little caps, gun that we used to have, and you put a little reel of caps inside your closet, and you pull in, pow, 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 and the smell of that gunpowder uh, was there, still, uh, still, just like a smell in it, as I'm saying that. Uh, that was the smell of Christmas for me. However, the real smell of Christmas, according to the Christmas story, is smell of animals like cow, and uh, like goat, and like uh, sheep. You ever smell a ram goat? Listen, if even ram goat has perfume and soap and powder, it cannot smell like a rose. And I am saying uh, the smell of Christmas uh, for Mary and Joseph was the smell of animals in a barn. Uh, when next you see uh, the fancy perfumed decorations at Christmas, Tell them they lie with those plastic animals. That's not the real smell of Christmas. Uh, the real smell of Christmas uh, that Mary, uh, Joseph, and the infant Jesus had was a bad smell. Yeah, was a bad smell. Uh, listen, please know today that let us backtrack and get something in our head. Uh, that first Christmas, demonstrated that when you are a big shot, when you're not a big shot and you don't have money, you can end up in a stable, a manger with your pregnant wife giving birth in a cow pen. Uh, then uh, remember, uh, I am not all for gloom and doom at Christmas time. I see in the Christmas story how God chose to change up things. Uh, the wise men came and they brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and more valuable gifts uh, that Mary and Joseph could have used uh, to finance the trip into Egypt. Uh, two things here. If you are marginalized and omitted at Christmas time, uh, remember, don't give up hope. Cry out, call to God. But let me stick in this. Uh, please remember uh, that you don't only have to cry out to God, but you who are marginalized and poor and needy and need something, you must call upon somebody, a real person, and tell them you're there bad, tell them things rough. Yeah, humble yourself. Your next door neighbor may not know that things tough with you this Christmas time. So humble yourself and tell him. Yes, then too, remember, change up the smell of Christmas. And if you are giving gifts, don't give gifts only to individuals who can reciprocate and give you back something. No, choose the poor person who cannot return the favor. Uh, some time ago I heard uh, them saying uh, that Christmas comes once a year. Everybody must have their share. Poor Willie in the jail drinking sour ginger beer. Well, hear this. You must look out for the poor Willies at Christmas time and change up the smell of Christmas for them and offer them something that will put a smile on their face. Christmas is about God changing up that barn smell and giving the greatest gift, Jesus Christ, 
to the world to save the world. Our God and Father, thank you for showing us that our kind deeds to poorer individuals can change up the smell for them at Christmas time. Guide us throughout this season and help us to look to you for hope daily. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you. Skyline.